Hey guys, just taking the dog for a walk here before I head to the comic show and meet up with DJ Magic. Looking forward to going there. Should be a good time. Have no idea what to expect. Wearing my Spider-Man shirt. There's my belly. Big belly. And we'll yeah, we'll see what happens. Try to get a good, good camera for it, but uh, my wife's HD camera. It's just a flip quarter. The microphone on it is just horrible, pretty much the same as what my cell phone's going to be. So I figured since my cell phone at least does 1080p, I'll bring this along and do, use this instead. We'll see how it goes. Going to be a lot of close-up work today, though, in order to uh, actually be able to hear our voices, because we don't have external mics or anything like that yet. Hey, what can I say? I'm not used to this vlogging thing yet, just getting the hang of it. So guys, I'll see you at the show. Hey guys, Sobekin here with TMG DJ Magic. He is going to give me a comic book education. We're here at the Hillhurst Sunnyside Community Association for a comic book sale. I know very little about comic books in general. He knows a lot about comic books in general, as you can see, Green Lantern. This guy <laughs> is the comic book nerd of TMG. He's gonna give me an education, so how about we head on in, see what we can find out. All right, let's start it off for the day. Um, this is my third time being in the sale here. I've been here a few times. But uh, today we decided to give you an inside look at what I'm into, uh, personally, in my side of the gaming world. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, just finished in the comic show. Saw a few shots in there. Uh, DJ Magic here really got me started. I have now X-Force 1 to 12. Looking very forward to reading that and figuring it all out. Other swag, I'll show it all to you on camera later after I get home. So till then guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, TMZ. Like us, love us, share us. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I went with DJ Magic to the comic book sale and he started giving me a bit of an education on comics. I knew very little going in. I still know very little, but there are a couple of things that he taught me. Not sure if there's much I can actually pass on. I'm not really that good of a student, unfortunately, but it was a lot of fun. I did learn a lot and it's definitely something I'm going to do again. Yeah, we're going to go together to another comic show on October 11th, I believe. And then there's a big one in November. There might actually be some cosplay happening at that one, so that should be fun. But I wanted to go through some of the things I got from the comic show. A little bit of swag. You can call it swag if you want. It's Most of it's actually purchases. But swag. I like swag. All right, first up. Something I'm very excited about. Uh, there's this little show called The Walking Dead on AMC that I absolutely love. I actually read most of the comics for it, uh, at least the ones that align with season one, and absolutely love that as well. So, I went and got myself a little Rick Grimes. That's him, little Rick. One of the poppet guys, whatever they're called. I don't know, I liked him cheap and put them on display and I'm going to do that. So Rick Grimes, everybody. Maybe he can play through a couple games with me. That should be fun. Dead Island. When that comes on Linux, I'll get Rick Grimes on my shoulder. All right. So big bag ended up spending 20 bucks on comics. Not bad. Not bad at all. I have X-Force. Uh, numbers 1 through 12 now, which I will be reading greatly. Uh, this one was a two-pack, Death's Head 
issue one, Death's Head 2. So, excited for that. And then behind that, there is Ghost Rider and Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance. Venom and Spider-Man showing up. So, I kind of nerded out a bit. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. So, I went and got myself a comic that has Spider-Man. I'm a nerd. What can I say? I, there's, I don't know a lot about comics, but the ones I know about, I love. So here's my X-Force 1. There's number 10. I won't show all of these to you. Uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. No 2 in this one. 1. Uh, I also got Heroes of Hope, starring the X-Men. All proceeds of this go to the support something from years ago. Long time ago. But hey, I like the X-Men. And anything that brings X-Men together makes me happy. So I figured, why not? Also, I am a bit of a big Transformers nerd. Um, for all of you non-comic collectors out there, something that I was not aware of, comics might not necessarily be printed just once. They can be printed the same comic, multiple times, multiple covers. As in this case, Transformers, Issue 1, sorry, Issue 0, Mega, sorry, the Autobot cover, the Megatron cover, Autobot, Megatron, same comic, same contents, different covers. This is a very big thing that I was not aware of whatsoever going to the comic show. I didn't know they did that. I think it's great they did that because the art on them is great and I absolutely love Transformers. What can I say? I'm a Transformers buff. I grew up watching them. Watched all the Michael Bay movies. They're all terrible. Watched the original cartoon. I don't know how many times I have the series on DVD. I have the original movie on DVD. It's just wonderful. And my son loves them too, which means it's a great set of shows I can watch with him. Uh, I got this too. The official handbook of the Marvel Universe. So apparently it has a whole bunch of the heroes and villains listed, their powers, kind of basics of their origins. So this should really help me kind of bone up on a lot of my favorite heroes that I don't know a lot about. I know Peter Parker's origin story. I know Iron Man's origin story. I don't know much about any other comic character out there at all. So going to learn more about that. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. Now, there is a book by R.A. Salvatore called Homeland. This is a Dungeons & Dragons book. Uh, it stars Drizzt de Werden. He is a dark elf from the D&D Forgotten Realms universe. Again, nerd, D&D player, proud of it. Always good. I didn't know they had a comic series written by R.A. Salvatore. So I got number one of Homeland. I'm going to see if I can find more. But this is actually, this was one of those wonderful finds that I got so excited and giddy over, I immediately grabbed it out of the box, which uh, DJ Magic's wife was actually looking in. I grabbed it, didn't ask her if she wanted it. I grabbed it and made sure that I got it. So sorry if you did want this, but it's mine. And I'm not giving it away. It's mine. Now, at this comic show, we actually got a gift of five comics just for showing up. I haven't looked at these yet. These are all going to be a complete surprise for me. But let's see what they are here. Oh, it's a number one. Black Axe, number one. Never heard of this guy. Never heard of them. Art style looks good. Looks exciting. Looks like it could be fun. I don't know. Flip through a couple of the panels here and see what happens. Oh, aliens. Robots. Organic stuff. Organic robots or something like that. That looks pretty good. So this, this could be good. This could be a nice one that they added in for me. Uh, next we got a number three of... Crimson Dawn, Psylocke and Archangel, On the Precipice of Victory. 
So yeah, Crimson Dawn, number three. That should be good. They're X-Men. I know who Archangel and Psylocke are. They're X-Men. I recognize their names. So that'll probably be a good one too. Oh, and it starts off with Archangel Bleeding. So you know that's going to be good. I gotta say, going to the comic show today, I really have a much greater appreciation of the art and the time that it takes to hunch over those ridiculous boxes, looking through books that are in no particular order, just kind of thrown in, breaking your back, trying to find a very specific comic. And thanks to DJ Magic, managed to find me numbers 1 through... What was it? 1 through 11, I believe. No, 1 through 10 of X-Force, excluding number two, which was a special purchase, because apparently there's something special about it. So with if it wasn't for him, I would have, I'd probably still be there, because I am extremely slow at looking through those right now. It's an acquired skill. All right, so number two, the Crusaders of Calathar Unleashed. Never heard of that. Never. I'll still read it, but I never heard of it. So we'll see. Not by anything, any brand that I recognize. Impact Comics. Never heard of them before. So, we'll see. Oh, and I have numbers 8 and 9 of Young All-Stars. DC Comics. So that looks pretty good. Numbers 8 and 9. Haven't always been the greatest DC fan. Like Batman. Uh, never really connected with a lot of the other stuff. So, yeah, this should be good. That's good. Hey, they've got a Green Lantern Ring of Power. And did you guys know, I did not know this, so rage at me all you want, but did you guys know that there's more than just the Green Lantern Corps? There's actually multiple colors. I think Magic said there were nine Lantern Corps. Huh. Mind blown when I heard that. That was ridiculous. I don't know why they need so many colors. Do, do people even have that many emotions? Because it's based on emotion, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe. I don't know. All right, guys. So that's it for me for tonight. Thanks again to Magic for starting my education in comics. Looking forward to continuing it. And it's been a great time. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.